Devola! Popola! Oh, look. You made it. We've been waiting for so long. What the hell is going on? It began 1300 years ago. Humanity, finding itself on the brink of extinction, undertook a last-ditch rescue plan called Project Gestalt. Gestalt? Do you still not remember, Grimoire Vice? Then let's give you a refresher. Vice! Uh, my mind... I... I remember... Devla... Popola... You are not human. In fact... Oh no... <laughs> yeah, sometimes the truth can be a real bitch. You wanna finish that thought for him, sister? All of us. Every person standing in this room are mere shells created by the true humans. You lie. Nope, not this time. You're not human. None of us are. So then humans... I mean, the true humans... they're extinct? No, they still live on. You know them as shades. Each shade is a twisted remnant of what was once a human being. Crazy, huh? Now let's skip the part where you stand there with your mouths agape and just get down to business. Wait! Wait! Sorry, but we're gonna be needing that shell of yours. The rightful owner has been waiting for a very long time. Please don't be angry with us. We are only doing our duty. Under the command of the true humans, we live eternally for the sole purpose of controlling others. That's the only reason we exist. You have your own motives, your own desires. And we have ours. I fear it really is just that simple. Don't speak such foolish mess. <sighs> Sorry. Hi. How are things going? Ow, my face. So you're supposed to pause the boss fight, and you're supposed to go all the way over here to documents, and then you can read things like Project Gestalt Report, which we read at the beginning of, uh, we read all this at the beginning of this particular playthrough after getting ending A. But I believe there's the same documents again. But now they have little diagrams, basically. A little bit more information. It's a hell of a time to give these. <laughs> it's a hell of a time to give you documents to read. Especially since they don't pop up on the screen as actual readable things. Like, when we read, uh, Project Gestalt documents, uh, in... In Emil's manner, uh, they came up on the screen immediately, and we could read them and then press A to continue. But these ones are like hidden away, and you're supposed to scroll to them separately, which is a weird detail. It makes them very missable because the game's about to end and then, and then take them back away from you. <laughs> ah! I feel like it almost makes sense to just keep them in your inventory. You and us, tools in the hands of a master. I'm nothing like you. None of us are. I'm not like you. We are the same, you and I. I'm nothing like you. Any new, di any new dialogue? I can't go up here, right? Nope. She's really squishy, by the way. Only growing more so. Devola? Because we were born without souls. Devil! 
I, I can't stop the bleeding. Oh god, I can't stop it. This world is too lonely for one without a soul. There's too much... emptiness. Our souls are missing. Still work. That's kind of weird. Sorry, sis. I love you. Devil. Devil. Don't you go. No, no, I can't be alone. Stop this now. Stop. Stop. You want me to stop? You think I have the luxury to stop? You cut down my sister like an animal, and you tell me to stop? Vopala, wait! It doesn't have to- No one stops! It's way too late to stop! No one stops! Popola, we've been friends for so long. Does that mean nothing to you? Those two have watched the world wither for time immemorial. The cruelness of such a fate is difficult to imagine. Stop whining and start fighting! It's the only way! Now I will give a polite extra amount of time of waiting, just in case. Because sometimes, like, ten seconds later, he, she starts talking to her inner ghost. Not this time? I'm actually a little disappointed by how little we've inter interaction we've had with, uh, with Tyrion. Because this, in, the, it felt like the entire point of this second playthrough was just to introduce that character. And I wouldn't be surprised if he take, plays a big role in the ending, but the, I would have liked to have a lot of dialogue throughout the entire game with him, just because that otherwise I'm just doing the same thing again. And he only rarely has interjections. And a lot of them are just like, I like to kill, 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 kill. As opposed to that one cutscene where he kind of had a character for a moment just a second ago. But that was like one of the only times. become. But there's something else there now. Something like pride. You know? I mean, without all this, I couldn't have become your friend. Goodbye, my friends. Thank you for everything. Emil. For so long. All I could do was destroy. But now, I have a chance to save something. No! Keep going. Move. Emil. Don't worry. I'm gonna be fine. Emil! 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 You jackass! Get back here! Amir! 
stable. And Vice can't stop arguing with people. I hope they can hold it together once I'm gone. Well, I guess they'll just have to learn. go. Sure. 
I want to pause it real quick before any dialogue or cutscenes happen again. I have a little theory about Emil. I'm wondering if he actually might be causing the time loops. I, which may or may not be canon, I don't know. The way that multiple endings work in Nier and Drakengard games is slightly confusing to the way, a point where I can't entirely tell if we're supposed to canonically think that all, th all of them happen in a row, but then we go back in time and change things. Uh, Drakengard 3 was very explicit, actually, in that... What was it? Okay, it's been a few years since I finished Dragon Guard 3's ending A, but if I remember correctly, I think the ending A just straight up has like, we need to go back and change this from happening. Is like more, I think that almost explicitly is stated in the narrative, as opposed to the game just arbitrarily going back without with no explanation. Because in this game, you just go back in time, and there's no explanation at the time of it happening. But I'm wondering if it might specifically be tied to Emil's uh, uh, special powers, because we don't know. We, vir we know virtually nothing about him. He's some sort of ultimate weapon, he's some sort of crazy, unknowable magic creature thing. Uh, and his dying wish is to see you again, and to see everyone again, and that he doesn't want to die. Like, he clearly wants to go back and undo what's happened. And then you have the New Game Plus system where you go back in time. But you don't start the whole game over like in normal game New Game Plus, like most games have. And instead, you go back to right after Emil became that. New Game Plus does not feature Emil as a child, it only features Emil as that creature, because it starts with you... It's like, the whole point of get, be, becoming that creature was to cure Kaine of the petrification, and the New Game Plus cycle always takes you back to the point where you're curing Kaine of the petrification, which at first just seems like a nice little convenience of not having to replay the first half of the game again, which was admittedly like the first... Was pro that was, pro it was probably the first two thirds or first seventy five percent of the game, as opposed to the first half. It's a pretty big chunk of the game that you don't play again. But uh, rather than just convenience sake, it might be that you're canonically going, you're looping amongst the time that Emil spends as this creature, always resetting back to the beginning of when it got his powers, because he's going back to an earlier time within which he has that powers, as if like maybe that's one of his capabilities. Maybe such an ultimate weapon or anything like that. Then being able to undo your own death seems like an effective thing. There's a few gaps in this, and one of which is, of course, that the more, more game exists after Emil dies, before you go back in time. But it still is conceivable on some level, and frankly, this game plays fast and loose with so many rules that it almost works as a possible explanation, and I don't know if there ever will be an explanation, so I guess we'll see. But that might be, that might be a serviceable theory for how the New Game Plus cycle works, if it is never explained in the game itself. So this thing's all a trap to bring us in so we can get our bodies back, which makes me... Slightly odd. Slightly odd that he doesn't just make it easier. Put, a, put down a nice welcome mat, something. I would say that- oh god, oh god. I would say that maybe- whoa. How many did I just kill with one hit? Because that was a big slow-mo attack. The uh... That was weird, I've never- I don't think I've quite seen it go slow-mo like that before. I uh... whoa, we're under attack. Can I go through the door without fighting everybody? Nope. Uh... I think that maybe he's trying to weaken us. Like, if he puts like, a bunch of stuff in our way, maybe he uh, could weaken us and maybe get rid of some of our party members, which is what happens to reduce our number. But it seems awfully dangerous. Like, what if, what if, what if the protagonist just has a bad day? What if? Then what? Like, you just destroyed your body. You were trying to get so badly. Ooh, physical strength plus thirty percent on. Level 9 Weapons of Magic. Besoles? What does level 9 Weapons of Magic even mean? Let's see, word edit. Magic. Execution. I want to be clear on what this thing does. Besoles. What? Okay. Not entirely sure to, what to make of that, to be honest. It's fine. Our stats hardly matter at this point in the game. Come at me, Shade Bros. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. You made a mistake. You made a terrible mistake. Everyone dies. 
you. Yeah. By the way, I do re I do realize I misgendered the boar earlier because there was n there was some I didn't get to comment on it right away, but there was narrative going on where they were calling it a she. I'm like, oh well, I, that throws away a few of the jokes. It's fine. Although the j it could still be a it could still be the same uh, dynamic of parenthood between the two boars. Potentially, just slightly inverted, and that it works fine. Or it could be the same board twice, just getting armor all of a sudden. That works too. In fact, the board getting armor fits with Nier changing his appearance and his continued attempts to defend his daughter. in circles until I know. <laughs> nah, I think that's it for now. It's just the, it's just the book. Owie! Kind of. To stand against the Shadow Lord. Don't speak in such a manner, fool. I am nothing like you. Never mind. So they're like, oh, I guess no dialogue will play after several seconds of silence. Coming. Yona! <laughs> Ow. Such deadly pages. No, no. Impossible. <laughs> I like that he's reacting like, it's impossible that I could be losing when I haven't fought him yet. <laughs> That's pretty funny. His reaction doesn't quite fit. Stop missing. Don't relax yet. It's not over. Yeah, I'm not trying to relax. Be careful! You too. Hey, sunshine. There's something kind of weird happening in your heart. The hate is gone. The sadness is gone. It's just a bunch of white light now. I don't know what's going on, but I don't like it. That was weird. During that dialogue, she was just standing perfectly still for a while while she just get w got wailed on. Don't you feel tired? You're not the only voice in my life anymore. I've spent time with others. I'm a curse. Free. And he knows it. But guess what? He still accepts me. He still forgives me. You're doing this for him! I'm tired of this world, and everybody has it. I will become his sword one last time! I really hope the dialogue's over. <laughs> Vice, you alright? Wait! <laughs> Please. I... 
I don't want this anymore. I don't need someone else's body. I don't want it. There's another girl inside this body. I can... I can hear her. She keeps crying. She says she wants to see her dad. Yona's been possessed? This girl loves her father too, as much as I do. She loves him just as much. It... it's not right that she can't see him. Shade that possessed her is gone. Kainan, watch over Yona for me. You want me to understand your sadness? You think I'm gonna sympathize with you? I swore to protect my daughter and my friends. If someone puts them in danger, they must stand aside or be cut down. Come on, let's go! <laughs> It's remarkable how much the best fight of all of Anima, which is the one with the uh, Ikaruga mechanics, takes takes directly after this one. Like the, the exact mechanics going on here. Ow! Not nice. Ow! that some headstrong idiot has decided to push me beyond my limits. I should have taken that job as a cookbook when I had the chance. Vice, I'm sorry. I... Only joking. I hate cookbooks. But... Let's go out of the way. I have one final task to fulfill. Where are you going? Why to stop him, of course. <gasps> but after that, it's up to you. Only you can see this battle to its conclusion. I wish you luck, my friend. You can't! I swore to fight by your side! <sighs> you are an exceedingly stubborn man. You know that, don't you? Perhaps that's why I've so enjoyed our time together. 
But I fear this is where our journey ends. Vice! Oh, and remember what I told you about using my full name. Oh, well, forget it. I've grown rather fond of Vice. Vice. I knew you'd come around. <laughs> Don't let it go to your head now. Sorry for the sounds, but this is the only reasonable way to wait out the dialogue. I don't think there's any more though. I think that's just that. I think that's it. Jesus. Ting, 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 ting. Ah. Jesus. Whoa. Hi. I'm over here now. Don't mind me. Woo -hoo -hoo. That's a bad time. Nope. God damn it. God damn it. I can't move. Ah. That's brutal. God, it's him. That's who. So, so the the villain of the game is the pro is the prologue characters, which I think we kind of guessed. Here, Dad, you can have this cookie. I don't need it. I'm already full. But that's what you said yesterday. You haven't been eating anything. Have you? <laughs> Come on. At least take half. Thanks. Thanks for 
for always being there for me. Oh, here. I brought your half. Yona. In a weird sort of way, it's almost a happy ending, because the two characters are together now. In whatever this, I don't know, this afterlife or whatever this thing is. In a weird way, everyone's back together with their loved ones again. So, almost more positive than the last ending, in a way, the extra closure or something. It's, uh, it's those mixed things there. On one hand, the, uh... On one hand, Papa Nier, main character dude, seems like a bad guy for... Or uh, single, uh, single-mindedly killing everybody in his way to, on his way to saving his daughter. On the other hand, other uh, near kind of got everybody killed by kidnapping said daughter in the first place, and it's really like their both of their inability to keep a hold of their daughter in one way or another basically is what led to a whole bunch of other collateral damage along the way. Not that I'm assigning that much blame anyway, because the entire scenario is totally screwed. It's a specifically contrived scenario uh, where the entire world is designed to make it, uh, every event inside the story unjust. No Kaine, though. That's weird. Is there gonna be? A, I wonder if there's gonna be a post credit scene, because last time she uh, kind of talked about how she needs to go off and take care of something, basically, and. Uh, I thought that was going to be what the new ending was, was because this was Kaine's story, supposedly, to the, po to the point where you're like, the game's like, you've done ending A, play the game again to learn Kaine's story, and it, and it front loads all that Kaine story, and all the, and little lines of the voices in her head, and her being able to understand people, but we haven't gotten the scene of where Kaine goes, so I guess, I guess we'll wait it out and see if anything happens after the credits. Other than that, though, uh, I'll see you guys next time as we go towards ending C and D. Only one more playthrough, though. Ending C and D are both done at the same at the end of the same playthrough. You basically choose ending C or D after finishing your third playthrough, and you uh, if you leave a save, you can do both of them back to back without having to uh, without having to play through the whole thing again and stuff like that. So thanks for watching, like always, guys, and I'll see you next time. Holds up. <sighs> kind of hard to move when you're just ahead. I wonder where everybody is. I can't wait to see them again. But before that can happen, there's some stuff I gotta do first. Like finding a body. Or at least some legs. I sure hope Kaine and Vice haven't killed each other yet. I swear, you leave him alone for one minute. Well, there goes that theory, huh? Because he's alive still, so that uh, that's not happening. I forgot about that detail that that's, that's his sister's body, and he's not just transformed, but he's literally in his sister's body, which then means that... That's two cases in one spot where there's a, like, a weird, like, sort of transgender thing going on within, uh, within G Gestalt's party, just right there. Wow, two more levels just from that, huh? Hey, it says AB, right there. Ending C. Obtain all the weapons in the game, and you'll be able to make one final decision that affects the story.